good morning and as promised I said that we're gonna return this morning to Mr. Shigoto we had a sighting of him a lovely sighting of him last night and uh, he is busy sleeping on the ground next to the vehicle right over there you won't be able to see him now the kill is up in that tree over there so we're just hoping that he might get up and start moving back towards the kill and go feed a little bit is warming up nicely it is let's see it is just after seven o'clock it's now actually it's uh, half past seven warming up nicely so maybe he goes up and feed and mr shigoto has decided to stand up and walk towards the marula tree let's follow and see if he decides to go up and to go feed still quite a bit of meat left Well done, boy. Very graceful. They leap up to two, two and a half meters when their feet touch the trunk for the first time almost. tail moving like a nervous twitch they're almost thinking what shall I do next always makes me think of a man scratching his head trying to solve an algebra equation see how swiftly and elegant leopards can climb trees there you go. the tail helps to keep the balance and they've got specially designed paws and wrists making it very easy for them to maneuver up in trees. Well that was splendid. That was worth the wait. So this beautiful young Maya leopard has climbed the tree. We were hoping for that and we waited patiently for this. And he climbed up the tree just to go get a good spot to go lie down and keep on surveying the areas actually watching towards the water hole maybe he's pondering to go for a drink later but yeah a few minutes before this he lifted up his head and he started grooming himself and he was yawning a couple of times stood up gave a good body stretch that's when we sort of knew, all right, let's go sit at the tree and wait and see if he comes. And we barely switched off the vehicle and he got up and he moved straight towards the tree. Just a little nibble. A little bit of an awkward spot to go and feed comfortably. I've seen well, all leopards okay. feeding more comfortable at uh, yeah, other yeah. times. There we go, clawing the impala and ripping and tearing with those canines. Sharp canines. Like I said, awkward spot for him to feed, but he's going to make it work.
It's really developed into an amazing sighting, guys, from a sleeping leopard to a leopard up in a tree busy feeding. Uh, from a little bit of a different angle now. The sun right behind us. Unfortunately, quite a few sticks and stems in the way. But nevertheless, we can see the young man feeding on his impala. And it's gonna fall down, huh? Yeah, peace may fall down. What would he do? If there's no hyenas on the ground, he'll go down and he'll collect it and take it back up if it's a large enough piece. But if there's hyenas, they let it go. Hyenas are on top of it within microseconds, milliseconds, they're on top of it and they steal it. He seems quite sturdy and he's balancing on two branches. That's right, sometimes they'll use the tail and sort of curl the tail around one of the stems or branches to keep them balanced. I've seen leopards using their tails, especially when they climb down from trees. But it helps keeping the balance when they move around and jump from branch to branch. You'll see how the tail operates. We're coming to you from the Timbavati Game Reserve. And thanks for tuning in, Heartbeat of the Timbavati. If you do like these videos, please feel free to share like and subscribe. He's sitting here with Mr. Shigoro, young male leopard of about 18 months old and he's busy feeding on an impala either he made or his mother in Yaleti made and she abandoned the area. I would love to think that it was him that in his young days managed to kill his own impala, hoisted up a tree to keep it out of harm's way. And using that thick carnassial shears to crush some of that smaller bones. Hey, my tones. Hey, Strucker Isaac, also enjoying this leopard sighting. What is your take on? on the leopard sighting this morning, Isaac. Very nice sighting, eh? Special. So, you can probably see there at the back there's the leopard up in the tree, he is busy feeding on his impala kill. We're going to leave him shortly and let some of the other guys into the sighting. That was an excellent sighting though, uh, especially watching him sleep, groom, yawn and body stretch and then walk straight to the tree, climb up and do his thing, do what they do best. Thanks once again for tuning in and I'll catch you later on. You know it. Cheers.